but this is always a starting point. The, the picture of the book title in the middle. Next, you look at the table of contents. The table of contents kind of gives you an idea for the flow or the structure, the journey the author is going to take us on. And so for the book Atomic Habits, it's going to look something like this. Introduction, fundamentals, first law, second law, third law, fourth law, and then finally advanced tactics. All right. Now, I don't usually add nodes for all of the chapters here yet. I'm just putting in the sections. I prefer to create the nodes for the chapters as I go. But let's just say chapter one is going to be under fundamentals. So I'm going to select the fundamentals node, then add a new child node underneath that for chapter one. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit here. Okay, so that's the second type of reading. The third type, and this is where things really get interesting. Okay, this is the analytical section. This is where you start to ask a lot of questions. And you're trying to comprehend the author's points and ultimately their message. The big question here is what argument is the author making? And remember, the goal here is not to remember what we read, but it is to learn and to understand. We can remember exactly what was in the book using the reference or the review models, okay? But really at this level, we're trying to understand the bigger picture. And so now you're gonna see mind maps that start to look something like this, okay? I'm gonna build out the major points that stand out to me from the book. I'm not trying to recreate the book itself. I'm just jotting down the things that I feel are important from what the author is trying to say. 